Hey guys, it's Ken. How are you guys doing out there? Today I'm in my classroom. I'm about to leave though because I was here bright and early. Took care of some last minute things to get ready for my big winter Christmas break. And while I was here, I thought I'd work on some Christmas projects. If you guys know me, I love to make art. I love to give my art to people. And Christmas time is no exception. So today, I'm working with, well, something pretty cute. Kind of like this guy. I'm starting with some Bristol paper, a pencil, and eventually we'll move into some Sharpies. And today, we're doing something called Kawaii. Kawaii is a Japanese style of cartooning, and Kawaii simply means cute. And today's theme, or this year's theme, are snowmen. So let's begin drawing some snowmen. I'll start with some basic shapes. I think I'll put two snowmen in here, maybe three. How about one here, one here, and a little baby one down here. So we'll start with some basic shapes. And again, this being kawaii, being cute, we're gonna make it very cute. And cartooning in itself simply is a simplified version of something, right? It's not very detail-oriented. It's just got real simple shapes. And that's what we're working with today. So a very minimalistic drawing. Keep my lines very light so I can overlap put things in the foreground and the middle ground and I'm saving lots of room back here for background stuff but my lines are light so I can overlap and erase without any kind of struggle. All right we have heads and bodies we need some arms. Okay I brought the arms out a little bit here and now I can erase some of these lines. Everything will be sharpied over anyway so it doesn't matter what I erase because eventually everything will be erased. All right, we need some hats and some scarves. Not really worrying about too many details at this point with the pencil. Just blocking in shapes and deciding where things are going to go. I gave the tall one over here kind of a stocking cap. This one got a fancy hat with a big old bow. And I gave the little guy down here kind of a traditional Santa hat with some holly berry and greenery. Now, an important decision to make. Do we color this or leave it black and white? The project that I have in mind, we're gonna keep it black and white, but I think we'll go with blue because it is a winter wonderland scene. So we have our blue Sharpie, the matching fine tip Sharpie for more details. Here we go. I did learn something interesting about this style of art. I mentioned it was from Japan and it was called kawaii, which means cute. I was out at the Japanese pavilion at Epcot Center and they had a kawaii exhibit out there and it featured many familiar faces and cartoons like Hello Kitty and Totoro and all those guys and the exhibit focused on the fact that after World War II if you know history the Japanese people were devastated so to kind of cope with all of that devastation they needed something cute in their life to help them well cope so they developed the style of cartooning to put something cute back in their life. I thought that was pretty interesting. I like that story. Let's see, where's he gonna go? Let's bring this guy down here. Bring this snowbank this way. Put a snowbank behind him. All right, let's continue sharpening over. I'll meet you guys back here in a second.
a little cross hatching for some shading. I did goof up down here, probably because I was talking to you guys and I wasn't focusing. This line should not be here because I, I wanted the snow drift to go behind the snowman and come up here. So, but that's all right because the project that we're going to be doing, I'll be cropping this off anyway and covering this with snow. So let me show you what this guy looks like. Then we'll head home and put it all together. Wait a minute. These snowmen don't have buttons or faces. Let's give this one some little buttons here. Put some buttons to match his, his hat topper there. The eyes are drawn very simply. And then the mouth is almost on the same line as the eyes. Give him some cheeks. And how about some eyebrows? We'll give her the same kind of eyes, only she's going to get some eyelashes. What about Junior? He's happy because Santa's coming. Hmm. Those pencil lines. Let's take care of those. To keep things simple for the background, I'll just do some trees and some snowflakes. My trees will look like this. I like to do very whimsical trees. So let's put a big one right here. And back to my big Sharpie. I'll make my trees all different sizes and shapes and let them go all different ways. Like Bob Ross once said, trees are like people, they're not perfect. And now let's put a nice, sturdy, hearty trunk on this tree. What do you think? Now let's put one that's kind of off the page. Like maybe he goes way up here, we just can't see him. So just the indication that there's a tree. These are woodland snowmen. You'll notice these were just shapes sitting on a piece of paper. Until so you add those eyes and smiles, then they get their own personalities. Now you may draw trees one way. This is how these trees are going to look. I know I added some lines down here, but add some more finer lines for some more finer details. Now we can go back in here, add some more little wispies. I'm not sure what they would call those little wispy tree needles. And then for my snow flakes, I'm simply going to well, let me show you. Let's go over here. And for the snowflakes, I'm going to use both of my Sharpies. I'll make a few snowflakes with this one, then I'll make a few with this one, just to give them different sizes. Then to show some snowflakes that are far away, I'll just add a bunch of dots here and there. I don't want to put them in any kind of pattern, just kind of drop them in. So 
So far, so good. So what's next? Make sure these are unplugged. It's a wacky weather kind of day. It got really cold and it's raining, but the sun's out. So we have storm clouds over there. We have winter wonderland blustery winds, but yet it's sunny. Well, fast forward many hours later, I had a bunch of errands to run and then some chores around the house to take care of, including our Christmas lights in the front yard. You guys want to go check them out? Here we are. This year I wasn't very, uh, well, I didn't plan it very well. I just kind of threw things up. So we have our main tree over here, strung with some festive lights. Got some in the bushes over there. These guys go over here. And give some lights to this guy. But over here, well, something a little different. I guarantee you we're the only people with a festive Santa jack-o'-lantern in their yard. Okay, back in the house, I've got these battery-operated lights. I'll take those out of the packaging. This I need to crop down to size, the size of this right here. This is a uh, shadow box, so let's unpackage this. And then I'll take out the back here and measure it for that to fit. Yes, I know, it would have been easier to cut the paper first then make the art. Oh well, poor planning on my part. But either way, it'll be amazing. So as you can see, there wasn't a whole lot cut off. Most of it was at the bottom. But wait, there's more. Remember these lights? Okay, the lights are all unraveled. Might be kind of hard to see with this very busy table cover. It's about the shadow box that has a door, which might be fun and under normal circumstances, but for this project, not a good idea to get the opening door. And you'll see why in a moment. All right, so a small dab of glue there to hold this in place. This is the wire that'll attaches to the battery packet. In each corner, I just wrap the wire around these little pins, stuck them in, and now the fun part, the snow. And not just any snow, frosty snow. So now you can see why the open door of the shadow box is not the best idea if this comes open your snow will be all over the place but thankfully there's a nice tight listen to it magnet Ta -da. And then only one more thing to do Ta -da. now this was one of three I've made so far I've got a few more to do there's these guys. And these two. Oops, I mean three. This is Bridget's father, Lanou, and his fiance, Elaine. And down here is little baby puppy Dachshund named Rudy. Now, Rudy is not a puppy any longer, he's about 15 years old, but. He's still part of the family. So this project was to cartoonify family members. This is Elaine. Elaine's daughter is Kelly. Her husband is Ken. And these are their one, two, three, four children. All snow people, a snow family. This new one I made today, on the other hand, is not family related. They were just fun characters, fun snow people. What do you guys think? I'm very happy with how it came out, very pleased. Merry Christmas, everyone.